hello everyone welcome back thank you guys so much for tuning in to another episode on the goddess cave rick it's real in the cave now today um i've been working on something that i'm going to create into a pdf for you guys to download on my website which is coming up soon um but basically let's just do a rewind to i don't know if it was my first episode or second episode on season one um was it basically about accountability and i feel like that's the first step in creating a form of self-love a form of healing whatever it is for you when you start your journey um that's the most important thing now your accountability may tend to shift or change as you gain new perspectives along your healing journey and that's perfectly fine and a hundred percent normal i know once i got into therapy that there were certain things that changed for sure um how i viewed certain things and just to be honest like this the healing journey becoming a better more evolved individual is actually hard so you know sometimes you might need some tools along the way which is basically what this episode is going to be on like a part two of accountability um so stop rambling basically what i created was an accountability calendar okay so if you're like myself you may have trouble in like once you create your goals which i have written down here as we all know it's very very important to write stuff down especially when it comes to goals so this is basically all my goals that i have overall and sometimes you just may not know how to actually get to work on them you know um you may have to switch your whole schedule around and sometimes when you're switching things around and creating new normals you may have i don't know it's just hard getting started sometimes this is the hardest part you may need some things to help you you know stay online like my what's feeding you movement um if you go on to my um personal instagram i know i definitely have that in the highlight section of my profile but i will also um leave a link to that in a pdf once i get my website up but you can also find it on my uh podcast instagram all the details are there um but the what's feeding you movement is basically just to create a schedule or routine for yourself so therefore you can eliminate any type of distractions or whatever that's not serving you keeping you focused and tunnel vision and guess you know keeping your a strong momentum for the week for the day whatever it is so like for example um if you go and follow me on my instagram for this podcast like i said again in my stories i try to incorporate like the actual daily routine and the like you know a visual of what's feeding you um i'll do an actual episode on that later down the line breaking that down even further um but it's just like you know setting your intention for the day clearing your mind taking full control um tapping into high power so your first thing you do you start off with a morning prayer manifestations affirmations just to clear your mind and you know grab grasp that day so i implement that every day and every night that's is basically like a seal and opener for the day so like i said with this accountability calendar um the purpose is to create healthy habits track patterns and identify places in need of improvement create your ideal routine that aligns with your goals and grade each day of accomplishment so basically what i wanted to do was certain days i have things that i'm just not able to get anything done and i'm trying to identify if it's a mental thing if it's just a physical thing and figure out ways to you know correct those things it doesn't mean there's something wrong with you but you just want to try to figure out what your bad habits are or just i don't know whatever thing whatever everyone has something that they just kind of like fall into whether you're starting to get complacent just trying to like you know pinpoint those signs so therefore you know when it's coming you can identify it's like hey let me switch things up a little bit and figure this out so basically all i did was i made a calendar um the days of the week of course and at the bottom there is a place where you can put your monthly grade so 
basically, let's back up. So, what you want to do is once you download this, um, it's going to be free. So, I might just put it out like on an email or something like that for now. But it's going to be free. So, don't worry about it. Even when I get it on my website. Basically, what you want to do is first write down all your goals. And it's like, figure out what do I need to do? What do I need to say? Like, do I need to meditate? Do I need to create a better eating habit? Do I need to, um, I don't know, every week look at my finances and seeing what hiccups I have? Uh, do I need to, and what days did I fall off? Like, you know, just certain things that you want to kind of see to make sure that you're aligned. So the first thing, like I said, is you write down all your personal goals, okay? Then, one thing that I did, where is my sticky note? Here, okay. So basically on a sticky note, all I did was I wrote down, it's just different for everyone because everyone's schedule is different. But in general, morning is 5 a.m. to 12 p.m. Afternoon is 12 p.m. to 5 p.m. Evening is 5 p.m. to 9 p.m. And night is 9 p.m. to 4 a.m. So basically you just want to figure out where your day starts. So my day really starts at night. <laughs> um, I go to work between 2 and 3 in the morning. So like for you have like an eating routine or whatever like that, it may not be the same. So like, okay, when I snack and stuff like that, I had to figure out where is my snacking coming in and how can I change or modify my diet in a way that it's going to be also an intermittent fasting and it just works better for my body type. So that's the first thing I did um, just to figure out like where does my day start and what makes sense for my body, okay? So after you do those two things, you want to write some type of regimen. So what I did was um, I have a before work, after work, um, afternoon and evening. So basically like I did it in the morning, which I haven't really been able to do cause I guess been snoozing, but I want to get out of that. Cause actually getting up taking control, like, you know, don't let the day defeat you even in that way of saying, Oh, I'm tired. Like get up, stretch, do something. Um, of course this is actually my old routine. But it's okay, because I'll start a new. It's pretty much the same. It's just a little bit shifted. So basically, taking Allie outside to go potty, which I am doing. I don't feed her in the morning, because it's typically not enough time to feed her, let her food digest and stuff. And she takes, that's a whole other story. But usually I guess I let her go out, and I might give her a treat in the morning. Um, then my mini facial routine, which basically just, you know, um half of what I would do when like waking up. So like for me, I have on a mask all day. So I do a little bit like less than a per probably an average person who's going to sit down and actually like a sit down job, my own personal mini routine. And of course your hygiene in the morning, my vitamins is one thing, my vitamins and my affirmation card, which if you go onto my Instagram, I did post a video about that of affirmations. Um, you can get the details there. Um, I choose to say my affirmations while I'm taking my vitamins. Now, of course, it's not going to actually go exactly how this is, but it just kind of gives you like a standard of, or structure to how you want your day to flow. Um, so I'm supposed to stretch in the morning <laughs> because I have a physical job and it's just like hard on my body, Achilles tendonitis, my knee, my meniscus is jacked up. So I'm trying to do certain things to help my body you know, get me through the day. Um, while I'm stretching, I wanted to do my prayer, you know, getting my manifestations, gratitude, thankfulness, all of that during that time because it's kind of like a mini meditation time, so you might as well do it all then. Um, and then prepare for work and get ready to go. Then once I get home, um, it's the gym routine. My gym routine is usually uh, Mondays, never miss a Monday, that's the kicker to your day. I feel like Sunday is more like a reset, relax, prepare day. Um, so if I do anything on Sunday, it may be like my um, home routine, which is basically just 
300 abs, 300 for uh, lower body uh, legs and squats. That's it. Which I wanted to do actually every day on top of my gym routine for a while because I didn't gain some weight. So go into my personal account, YouTube account, and you can follow me and we can lose weight together. Um, and you can see, see my progress there, what I do. Um, so my gym routine, like I said, is Mondays, Wednesdays. It's a good day because it's hum day. Push you through that week. Um, Fridays and then Saturdays. Uh, my Saturday typically is like my extra day, so I might go Thursday, Friday. I guess it depends on how I feel. I just feel like, you know, you kind of want to earn your weekend of whatever you're going to do. Like, if you're going to go out to a party or whatever, I feel like you should do it on a Friday, you know what I'm saying? So that way, like, you don't, like, if you eat bad or whatever, you kind of did something. So doing it on a Friday and Saturday to me is a wonderful thing. Um, that's just my personal preference. Um... Then after that, of course, is now is breakfast time, um, taking her out, then showering because I used to go to the gym right after work. Um, lunch, something light, beat the temple. Uh, you want to do something light because sometimes I might want to take a nap, um, which is no more than 45 minutes. It's really supposed to be like 20 to 25 minutes, but listen, my body been up and moving. Sometimes I need to get that 45, okay? So in the afternoon, um, any errands I have to do, uh, my brand time, that's a non-negotiable podcasting and my personal channel, and that must is dinner before 7 p.m. because my bedtime is at 8 p.m. Because um, of, like I said, my schedule is different than the average. This is, no bedtime is like 9 o'clock. I guess that's for kids, but anyway. Um so, I'll get to that in a second. And then the evening will be stretching um, before bed. Again, meditation, going through it again with my prayer, manifestations, gratitude, thankfulness, affirmations. Relax, like I said, prayer, and then bedtime. So, with your work regimen, which will align with your goals, you do things within your regimen to incorporate your goals which now we have a system to see what days are we actually doing what we need to do to get to our goals and whenever you have a mishap and not able to tend to a thing mentally foggy just not feeling it you give yourself a grade so basically if I was able to do my whole work regimen. I call it a work regimen because five days out of the week you work. Um, those are typically the hardest days to do what you got to do because you're just exhausted from your day at work. That's for me. Do whatever you need to do for yourself. But that's the average person, you know, fitting your personal time, your personal branding time around work. Unless you're just 100% into your personal brand, which is fine. But still, you still need to have some type of routine. So basically, let's say let's say Monday, right? I didn't go to the gym. Now, I'm a big fan of, okay, if you didn't go to the gym, fine. Do something later on, you know. But don't let that one thing. What, what happened for me is I'll let that one thing, like, mess up my whole day. So I'm like, well, if I come home and I'm extremely exhausted from work, like I said, again, I got... I'm getting old, you guys. I'm my body is like not the energy bunny that it used to be. My body's breaking down sometimes, and it's just like I be sore and tired, exhausted. Um, I may not feel like going to the gym, you know, but typically I'm able to pick myself up, back up, and just don't even think about it. Like you don't want to think about your goals or your routine as like a job. You want to view it as lifestyle like this is all for the better but sometimes you may have that viewpoint when it's like oh I gotta push myself to go to the gym today so basically what I want to do is say Monday okay fine I didn't go to the gym because da 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 right so if I give myself on a grading scale it's gonna be like a one to five right how many things did I get done that day right I got, did I get everything done that day? Okay, cool. I got a four out of five. Pretty good. So basically, you want to just kind of 
gauge your weeks because sometimes you may have a whole week go by and it's like uh uh-uh, this ain't my week I'll, I'll do it next week you kind of just want to be able to pinpoint and identify what happened during that week was it bad news you got was it just your time of the month was it just you quit something or was it something on the job you want to try to figure out what can I do now to if that was to come up again to be able to still pick up because I feel like when we don't get things done like if you're like me I'm very hard on myself like I'm the type of person (laughs) I'm the type of person to where I will write down what I gotta do that day exactly so like okay on a Thursday or Friday I try to take advantage of my whole day so on my (laughs) I either write on a piece of paper or I write it on my um dry erase board on my fridge which has which has like my gym routine what I do on each day, what days I go, um, it has my appointments, it has events, and it has a to-do section. So it just depends on which one I use. So on my to-do list, I'll write down uh, laundry, um, grocery shopping, organize closets, organize spice cabinet, give Natalie a bath, just things like that, right? And that's how I, for me, how I've always done it to get my things done. Right? But sometimes I get stuck. Okay, so you might be cleaning and you sit down for a second and then it turned into three hours. Now you're eating popcorn, watching Netflix. It's like, what happened to my day? And now it's like, well, I'll just do it tomorrow. No, we don't want to do that. If you still have time in the day, which is always time in the day, it's just whatever you feel like it's important to you, you will fit that into your day or night, whatever you got to do, you're going to do what you have to do. You will burn the midnight oil, whatever you got to do. It's just one day. You can pick it up. Um, so there's really no excuse in the end of the day, unless something like tragic that happens. But also knowing, you know what, don't be too hard on yourself. You know, you deserve a rest day. You deserve not to have to do everything that day. That's fine. But you want to kind of interrupt it if it's becoming a bad habit and something that you just is making you feel unconfident about yourself so that's something that I do as well um as far as accountability of course um I ran this past my therapist and she was like Ebony I think that's a wonderful thing that you're doing for yourself and that's why I'm like you know I'm a helper whatever helps me I want to use that to help other people um, but accountability, you just, it's all about finding the right tools and the right environment and the right people to help push you along, you know, and removing whatever it is that, that deters you away from your goal. Um, I think that accountability, first of all, if you're not, this is also what made me more honest with myself, you know. I know sometimes I might have mood swings. I'm just not in the mood to do anything. I'm just in an overthinking battle for a couple weeks. And all those things are just in the grand scheme to help me. Like I said, this does not work for me. It's not healthy for me. How can I find ways to keep me on this good momentum that I have? You know, because you don't want to be a person who has a good 30 days. And then it's like, uh, I'm off for six months. And it's always you're starting that over. You know, it's okay to have a couple of days. But, you know, at the end of the day, we have to be accountable to say, you know what? Nobody is going to do life for me but me. So let me make sure I can have the proper tools, the proper people, the proper resources, whatever. I have to make them myself, get them from someone else to keep me on a good pace. So, um... Basically, this is just for you to be able to figure out accountability for yourself. It's not going to be nothing too long because I feel like I've already kind of went through this. You can go back to season one and check out the first video, part one of accountability. And if you have any tools that you use that you would like to share, put them in the comment section down below. Also, you can go onto my Instagram and there's a post about accountability there. Go ahead as well and you can comment there what you do to help others and see if anything is there to help yourself. And that is all that I have today. Thank you so much for being real in the cave.